Hi, and welcome to Brush Tips with Sherry. Today, we are going to be painting a special holiday painting, our turkey. So, in honor of Thanksgiving, I figured why not have this super fun painting for everyone to be able to paint tomorrow after they fill their bellies full of, you better plug his ears, turkey. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. We have a pretty big paint palette today. We have some raw sienna, some burnt sienna, some white, some black, which I forgot to put on our paint board, some bright red, some orange, um, turquoise, phthalo blue, and yellow. We also have a variety of brushes. We have our big daddy brush right here, and we have our rounded flat brush and our little tiny baby brush right there. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take that big daddy brush, we'll call it our big turkey daddy today, and we will scoop up some of this raw sienna here. Real quickly, we just wanna cover our canvas and just start painting. I love using a raw sienna on this background. It almost reminds me of like suede bump this so we don't drop it. it reminds me of like a suede um, material whenever I do the raw sienna on there and I love it just get it nice and filled in scoop up a whole bunch of that paint just like you're scooping up a big bowl of cereal big scoop full of cereal or mashed potatoes let's talk about mashed potatoes or cranberries since tomorrow's Thanksgiving Talk about all those yummy Thanksgiving foods. Now, I know a lot of people love, love, love Thanksgiving, not only because it's a great time to eat lots of food, but it brings together our families, right? And friends. Sometimes people have Friendsgiving, too. I love Thanksgiving because it reminds me of all of the things to be thankful for, and I have so many great things in my life to be thankful for. Um, my kids, my house, my husband, um, you know, my relationships with new friends that I meet every day because of the show. I have, I'm super thankful for the show, super thankful for all of you who watch the show and hang out with me every Tuesday and then some of you who watch it on TV too you get to watch it on TV and you get to watch it at all different times so I'm super thankful for all of you all right once we get all that on don't forget to do your sides and your tops and your bottoms just in case you're not familiar with that we like to make sure all of the sides and tops and bottoms are done whoops we almost dropped that and now they're all thankful that I didn't. <laughs> so then it gets on the floor. So over here you can see where I painted the sides and the top and this other side too. Okay, so you can see all that. So we're going to let this dry here. If there's a really, really good thing to do during this time, it's to sing. So you could sit here and fan it. You can actually, at home, just let it dry naturally. Um, or you could fan it and sing with me. You could sing, let it dry, let it dry. I know I'm not a good singer, but I'm a really good painter. <laughs> All right. So we want this to be pretty dry before we start to add our turkey on there. And if you're at home, this is a good time to maybe get a snack, um, let the dog out, or cat, if you have a cat that likes to go outside. Um, today's great weather outside, so maybe even you just step out there and get some fresh air. Grab a snack, a cup of coffee, and then come back and we'll paint the turkey together. All right. Seems to be drying pretty quickly on this background here. Just keep fanning it. 
perfect. Awesome. I love, love, love using this raw sienna in the background, like I said. It just really makes for a really pretty background. We could do it sometime where um, then we do flowers on the background. So let's take that big daddy gun, our big daddy turkey. Let's take a little bit of this burnt umber and a little bit of this white. We're actually going to do two layers here of this turkey body. And it's just like a bowling pin. You can even move it over too. Just like a bowling pin. Sorry, turkey. This was inspired by my sweet little Atlas, um, my best friend's son. He calls me Aunt Sherry. So this was inspired by him this morning, he said. He said, what should we paint on the show today? And he said, a chicken. Next best thing, a turkey. <laughs> I think he wanted a chicken because I was giving him eggs. Who knows? All right, here we go. So we got that all painted on there. And we're going to let that dry too. So now is the time too to take it and just fan it. Fan, 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 fan. Get that area to dry. We'll get this sweet little... I almost said peacock. It's not a peacock. This is a turkey. Get them to dry. It was cute because we were having a conversation with little Atlas about um, Thanksgiving tomorrow. And somebody said, do you like stuffing or dressing? And then he said, well, I want to get clothes for the turkey. And we were like, stuffing, yeah. And he's like, no, clothes. And we're like, what did you say? Well, he thought that stuffing, well, not that stuffing, that dressing was getting the turkey dressed. So he wanted to get clothes for our turkey for tomorrow. <laughs> we, we all just started cracking up. He's four years old. And he is loving life right now at four. So he'll be hanging out with us for a while at our house through the holidays. It's going to be so fun. All right, dry, 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 turkey, dry. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we are actually going to put the feathers on. Now, if at home you're kind of nervous about doing this, I suggest you grab some chalk. Remember our chalk wipes right off, so I can actually show you real quick how to do it with chalk. I freehanded the other one, but for you guys at home, let's do some chalk. If you have it, if not, use a pencil. So let's start here with a big turkey. Big turkey, big turkey. And we'll leave that one big like that. It's almost like when we put our flower petals on, right? We're not going real pointed here along the turkey. Do you see how we're not going pointed? They're kind of flat. There we go. Had to get that chalk dust off. So let's take this little round half, our flat round brush right here. Where that's what we're gonna take. And let's start with your favorite color. So I'm gonna pull up turquoise because that's actually Nico's favorite color. Take a little bit of white and mix it in there while the rest of this turkey dries. And then you can pick which ones you wanna put the white on or the turquoise on. If you don't want to start with turquoise, say you want to start with the bright red or, you know, the green, or you want green in yours, you can add green, yellow, orange, whatever colors. Just makes it fun and festive looking when we add some really bright, pretty colors. Oh, this guy is going to be, there we go. We're going to have a little blank spot right there. we got to fix that. So what about we rinse this off? Let's rinse this off. Let's go to the next one. Let's do um, red. Let's do this bright red for the next one. I love this bright red. Just going to go right there. Pull this down here. Make sure you hit your sides just so when we hang it up, it's all together.
Perfect. Perfect. Rinse off that brush again. Let's grab the next color. What should we do next? Let's do some, let's do some yellow. I take, I like to take the yellow and mix it with a little bit of white because the yellow is kind of transparent, like translucent. You kind of see right through it. Just grab some of that white, just a little bit, make a whole new color here. And let's add this white and yellow in there. Whoops, I got a little red in my brush still. That's okay. Just makes for some more textured turkey. And I mean, honestly, if we're real here, turkeys are going to be plucked out in a little while to be put on a plate. Yep. Sorry, turkey. He doesn't like when we talk like that, though. It's not you, buddy. <laughs> okay, now I'm talking to paintings. <laughs> It's not you, buddy, that we're talking about, really. Or your friend. Yes, there are crazy artists out there. All right. Three feathers. Let's rinse off that brush. And let's get some more paint. Let's do, let's do some blue just to separate the um, red or the yellow and the orange. I love this blue. It's so pretty for feathers. I love adding a little bit of blue to sunflowers too. If any of you have ever seen our sunflower that we've done on here. It's so fun. I like to add a little blue to that sunflower. Whoops. Got, got the head of that guy a little bit. Little blue head. Okay. Clean off that brush real good. Let's grab some orange. And again, I like to grab some white and mix it in with that because that orange is really, really translucent once you put it on with this dark background. Add some orange. We might need to go over this with some solid orange and that's okay. Do, 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 do. Perfect. I can't wait to see all of yours. Remember when you paint them make sure you send them to us and show them to us. Let us see your painting so we can feature them on our Facebook page. We love 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 when our friends paint along with us and our friends are you. So don't forget to send us your paintings. Hmm, what other colors? Oh, we got to go back to that turquoise again. Let's add a little bit of that turquoise in there. It's so pretty. We're going to go back over a little turkey here. What should we name him? Let's name him Leroy. Leroy the turkey. <laughs> my One of my favorite Thanksgivings actually was um, when I was younger and I used to go out to Pennsylvania and this is how my brain works. Leroy is my grandpa's middle name. My grandpa lived in Pennsylvania. Thanksgiving in Pennsylvania is one of my favorite times when I was younger. So that's exactly how my brain works. So that was one of my favorite times and I would go there and we would eat turkey and pie at my aunt's house. And that was one of my very favorite Thanksgivings was when I was younger. How about we add, I really love the yellow. So I think I'm just going to add another yellow. As much as I want to go in pattern here, I really love the yellow. So I'm going to stick with yellow. So I got that on there. I'm going to take some more yellow real quick and add it right inside this guy because I want this guy to be big and bright. Hit the side, hit the top. Get this all worked out. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Rinse off that brush. Let's add another layer to our sweet little Leroy there. And remember, when we are doing feathers, there's no right or wrong way to do them because they're kind of like snowflakes. Not all feathers are the same. They crisscross each other. They kind of have like bed head feathers. 
so they get all bent up and they don't have brushes to brush out their sweet little feathers so all right let's grab some more of that burnt sienna I'm sorry that's burnt umber burnt sienna is not even on our list and just start adding it to our sweet little Leroy here. And there we go, perfect. And we can even take a little tiny bit of that black and kind of run it through here. I like to make it look like he's got some little body feathers. Just really, really quickly brush through here. Give him a little bit of texture in that body Make them look nice and plump. And rinse off your brush again. We're gonna take that same brush, and what I want you to do is take this black. I feel like we need another like little, let's add another little guy here. We're just gonna add some red feather here. And it might not look good, but it's okay. I feel like it's super plain right there. We might have to go right over this turkey to write things on it. There we go. Doesn't that look a little bit better? A little more filled in. Oh my goodness, it looks kind of crazy. <laughs> it looks so cute though. This is like the perfect Thanksgiving Day activity. It is, I love it. All right, so I'm gonna take this black and I'm gonna outline really lightly. Just throw some nice black lines around my feathers and here and here 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 do, do, do. this guy is one happy turkey here we'll add a little whoops that guy went a little bit big there that's all right rinse off that brush again I guess I shouldn't have added that red, that red turkey feather there. And let's take some more black and let's just close this guy off. It just makes him pop a little bit when we add that black right around him. We can rinse off that brush again. And, oh, we need to do the beak. Let's take that little baby brush. Let's take this fun little baby brush here. We're gonna take some white, and I just want you to make a cute little beak. It's just a V, and then you like color it in. And don't forget about this little guy here. What do they call that, the guy that hangs down? I know everyone's like at home shouting it out. I don't know what they call it. The hanger guy? Honestly, I have no clue but I know how to cook a turkey. <laughs> All right, let's take this white with this little tiny brush. Since we already have it out, let's just kind of add a little bit of detail here to our um, feathers. What I like to do is just real lightly throw some fun little shapes on. Just adds a little bit of cute character to our guy. And we all know how jazzy Leroy is, so why not, right? Leroy the turkey. And some of them's not dry. Some of them are not dry. I don't know what that was, that broken English there. Let's let it dry a second. Let's grab this guy. I'm very sorry, Leroy, that you have that extra feather. I guess I should have really looked to see before I added that. But I go by what is in the monitor. I have a big monitor here that I can look at, and I go by what's in there. So to me, it looked like it needed another one. But it's okay. Look at how cute he is, though. I love it. And we can write like gobble real big down here. So like give thanks is on that one. We'll write gobble on this one. So just let that dry. Just so that when we do the little circles on the feathers, we're not pulling the color paint into the white. And then our white stands out a little bit.
dry, dry, dry. We can add our eyeballs on to our little turkey. Let's grab that white, or I mean that little tiny baby brush. This is what I like to do to make the eyes for the turkey. Just flip your brush upside down and kind of roll it a little bit and roll it a little bit. Hopefully he's not cross-eyed. He is, oh well. If he is, the chances of him getting hunted are probably a little bit slimmer because nobody wants that, right? Poor Leroy. <laughs> All right, we're going to let this dry. Let those eyeballs dry. We'll put little white dots in them in a minute. Let's grab hold of this white again and swoosh and swoosh. I like to go both ways. So who here, what are some special things you do to your turkey? Like, I feel like I, what I like to do is I t like to take oranges, slice them up and stick them underneath the skin in between the skin and the ch breast of it um, and get those oranges in there. And then obviously my stuffing on the inside Oh, I'm sorry, am I hurting your feelings, Leroy? I'm not talking about you or your friend. <laughs> um, okay, I might have cracked up. Anyway, I, I love adding like a orange in with the stuffing too and cranberries and pecans. And I put those inside our, our vegan turkey. We'll call it a vegan turkey. Maybe it won't hurt his feelings so bad, right? The fact that I'm standing here talking to a fake turkey on a painting is probably something <laughs> that I should be concerned about. <laughs> All right, let's fix this guy. Round him off, round him off, round him off, round him off. And you can add as many as you want to these guys. You don't have to add any if you don't want to. If you want to make different patterns on them, please make different patterns, like just fun fun painting patterns. Little half circles throughout. I feel like this guy needs some more fun things. There we go. Let's give this guy, let's give little Leroy a little bit of cute hair too. I kind of like that. On that one I have a little bit of hair here and it's so cute. Okay, let's rinse off this brush really, really good. Let's color in our beak, which is orange. Color in the beak here. Then we need to add this gizzle, giblet, whatever. I don't even know what they're called, okay? Add this hanger guy. Probably should have researched that before I came today, but sure you all will post on the bottom or send me a message and tell me what it is and I don't even have to google it. <laughs> I'm sure all of you know because I don't. I can't even think of it. I feel like I knew at one point. Let's add some white to his eyes. Look at how cute. God Leroy you're so adorable. <laughs> Look at how cute he is. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab that brush again, the, the flat one. I just grabbed a round one because I had a round one. So obviously you do the one that you have the, the job to do. Give it the job, the job of writing. So we're gonna write gobble. It's okay if you go over your painting a little bit. He doesn't mind. Gobble with one O? Yes. Is it L E or E L? L E. No? Gobble? I don't even know. It's not bad. It's because I'm so used to my phone spelling everything for me. Well, if it's wrong, I'll just change it. I'll just paint right over it and change it. Perfect. Oh my gosh, this guy needs filled in just a little bit more there. I like to pull my bees off a little bit. 
See how I like to extend them? And then same with the E, extend that out. Look at how cute. I feel like it's E-L, G-O-B-B-E-L. It is, isn't it? Man, I messed up. That's all right. As soon as this goes off, I'll erase it and fix it. Okay. So let's, like all good artists that we are at home, go ahead and grab your little tiny baby brush and let's just own this turkey. All right. I want you to take it and at the very bottom, I want you to go ahead and just add your initials and own that painting because you, my friend, are an amazing artist. Thanks for watching and we will paint with you soon.